Welcome to episode 157, also known as season 7, episode 19. The title is I Am Here. So is this going to be Deku's big moment? Is this going to be where the fight turns? Because as everybody knows, this was All Might's catchphrase. All Might himself did leave the control room a couple episodes ago. Don't think I didn't notice. Yeah, there was a few. Yeah. Oh! Class B was held, some of them were held back in reserve to defend the, like, uh, evacuation shelters. That's the key feature, right? Oh, I like that coming back around. Episode 1. This is the feature that All Might said defines a true hero. They try to save people without even thinking about it. Whoa. Living bomb. Let's talk about Sugauchi for a minute, too. There was a time where I thought he was the mole. Um, he was always around. He had all the info, right? But for a guy who's just been diligently working in the background for the entire series, I think he doesn't get enough props because he doesn't, you know, he's a policeman, so he doesn't use his quirk um, to do things. In fact, I'm not sure he has a quirk. He might be quirkless. He, they've never shown it if he's got one. No, this is a coincidence. They know how far uh, All for One can go. Is it All Might? They need his ice to cool it down. Is this where All Might dies? He can cool down eat his engine so he can keep afterburning. Ah! That's such a good line. I forgot about Stain. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Ida. I love when Jay Tatum starts yelling. He's great. Is he going to Iron Man up? Has he got a suit in that case? Listen. His buddy in America... It's like a technological expert, right? That's that's where they got the glove that let uh, Midoriya keep punching. Is this what Night Eye saw? Is this the end of All Might? Pass me by. The way they draw no, All Might when he's mad is great. You can. At first, he told Midoriya no. Way back in the beginning of the show, he told Midoriya no, it's not possible. But then he changed his mind, and now he is in that position. That's so good. That's so good, turning everything from the very beginning of the series around. Yeah, he's freaking Iron Manning. The smile. Yes. That's rough for his family. No, oh, he looks so wild. It hurts so much. Like your son throwing everything you said to him and everything he was trying to impress you with in your face while he looks like this, you know, all ghastly. Burning himself up, literally about to like explode into a bomb. Is there any way Toya comes out of this alive? There's no way, right? His wife's favorite flower? It showed it too when he almost died against that Nomu. Oh no. He had the double quirk. He was the first son that actually had the double quirk. He just didn't show it. 
Oh no. Oh, that's so, that hurts so much. He just didn't know. And that's how he's still going now. Ooh. You're right. Ooh. Oh. What else can he do? This is what he has to do. Ah. Oh. And Tartaroki gets there and freezes them. Wait, no? Wow, it is really her. Oh no. He wanted to try to get away using their flame and now she's putting it out. And look, do you notice her skin? I know that a lot of fans theorized that the mark on Todoroki's face is actually because of her that the boiling water would not have actually hurt him due to his flame quirk and that the scar is actually from her trying to cool his face down because she panicked and this just reminds me of that like how true could that be the way her skin's looking now oh because they all inherited her ice quirk the whole family's here. Oh no. This hurts so bad. What? He's a he's a fighter jet? This is so badass. What? This is awesome. The music is going so hard. Dang, his engine. I want to be there, Eko. Look how different he is. Look how different he is from the kid that we met in the first season. He's made so much of a change in his life. And it wasn't just working through his family issues. He made friends that changed who he was. This guy could easily have been the main character of the show. Easily. The whole family's there. Just like a flashback to them as kids in their previous fight. And the whole family are the ones who took him down. This is perfect. Wow. Dang. Could that have been any more perfect? I don't know. It could not. I would have been satisfied if it just took Endeavor sacrificing himself to fix his mistakes. But the whole family coming to stop Toya together. That's huge. I love that so much. I did not expect to get hit that hard by this episode. So there's one down, Dobby. We still have all for one to deal with. We still have uh, Shigaraki to deal with. 
and All Might doesn't have to beat All for One. He just has to slow him down enough. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, we also have Toga and her twice army. 